Hello Aries at the general reading for the sign of Aries. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It's wonderful to have you here and I am excited to be here as well. Um, just a reminder that this um, may resonate with anyone who has Aries strongly in their chart. Um, but that said, it may only fit for a few of you. Hopefully there's some guidance here and some information here that will help you as you move forward though Aries. Um, I am um, going to be doing a general reading. I will look at the present energy and I will look at the next seven to 10 days. I'll be digging deeper into the general reading where I clarify and go down a rabbit hole or I go into a very specific energy to see what what information we can find for you. Um, so that's the goal. So let's go ahead and get started Aries and look at see um, what is your um, what is your current energy. It's a little breathless to be honest when I get into your energy. I usually um, have a change in my breath kind of hitches or it it um, it's, it's kind of a breathless energy um, and my face feels warm here so let's go ahead and see what this what this energy is what this current situation is and then look how it may impact you in the future okay all right let me get into this energy because I think um, there is some kind of conflict here or competition here. You could even be, you could be in a competitive state or you could be feeling, um, I, I almost feel anxious about something like something could be taken away or something could be impacted and you're in a protective kind of energy. Um, I, I think you're really um, agitated. This is, a, this is, a, this could be an agitated type energy. Now, I think that this energy is at the beginning of this situation. So as we move forward here, I think there, there's something that's going to, in this current time frame, um, there's new movement now. There's new, there, there's, something's happening. Something's happening to move the ball forward. Um, whatever that is, whether that's um, a painful situation that's moving the ball forward or whether it is something really um, relieving that's moving the ball forward, or just something that happens that takes you out of that space. It does feel like you are moving forward um, where there was some sort of anxiety or competition or, or something, something could have been holding you up, a person or a situation, something could have been holding you up, stopping you from doing something, a block. And this energy has been the pervasive energy that I feel. When I get into these energies, this is the energy that I mostly feel. So um, this could have been, I'm, I'm gonna move out of this energy because it's a stress energy. So there's some stress here. Now the good news is the rest of these 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 energies are great. Okay, the, the wheel here, the wheel of fortune is here. Um, so something has happened that has moved this forward or it's moving it forward. There's new momentum. Um, whatever that is, there, there is like the universe coming in and pushing it forward. Um, and sometimes the wheel of fortune can, can feel difficult. Um, sometimes it can feel really good. So, um, it, it, you could be feeling it one way or another, but it does move it forward, right? It does get it going. And, um, just like sometimes when you have a Band-Aid on your skin and you need to take the Band-Aid off, it'll hurt as you pull it off your skin. That's the kind of, you know, the Wheel of Fortune can feel like that for some of you. Uh, for others of you, it's maybe um, some money coming in or some kind of good fortune showing up for you or, or something happening that is a relief for you. We do have the Queen of Cups here. So, you know, this is the energy of um, really knowing what's best for yourself, understanding um situations and environments and people who fit well with you right and and understanding the environments and the people and the situations that aren't helpful for you um, and and i think that's one of the goals here this is this is you really at this point in time aries understanding what is um healthy for you this is about health this is about what puts you in a mindset and a heart set and a body set that is that can propel you forward in in a way that um you are in your natural 
abilities in your natural um, in your natural environment. That's it's almost like I'm getting a picture of like you know have you been in a zoo? Like if you're a lion, um, that's what I, they're showing me like a caged lion and the a caged lion. And I know this is dramatic, so please <laughs> forgive me. This is what I'm seeing. A caged lion will have different behaviors than a lion in the wild. So I think in a way this is letting things roar, like letting yourself roar, letting yourself move forward in a way that's natural for you. And when you do that, I do feel like you're the way you progress, the way that you succeed is going to be different than when you're in a box, than when you're caged um, in, in a confined space. So this is about freedom for you, Aries. For this group of Aries, it's about freedom. And what does freedom represent? Self-care, right? Self-love, self-awareness, self-fulfillment, inspiration. Because there is something new here with the Ace of Wands that you're doing. Some new action that you're taking, new passion, new excitement, new charisma. You know how you are, Aries, and you know how impactful you can be, and you know um, in, in in which ways you can really shine, right? And this is you understanding that about yourself and shining yourself out around. So this is a um, this is a time period in this current period, um, Aries, that you have overcome something, you have pushed forward into something, and you have realized your own personal freedom, your own personal environment. And this is going to lead you into something fairly exciting or you, you are in an exciting time now, whether that's a new relationship or a new project that you have or a new business that you're starting or a new family that you're starting. Um, it, it feels like you're in a free and fulfilling environment or space. All right, let's see how it, this moves going forward and I'll do clarification. I'll do clarification here. So let's see what we can get. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the nine of cups. We have the nine of wands and the ace of swords. Dang, damn, holy smokes. Well, I guess you're going to probably Google 999, maybe 919, 911. There's a lot of, you know, I'm not learned in, in numerology and angel numbers and things. All I know is that when I look these up for myself, there are so many meanings. There are so many different examples of what numbers can mean. So I'm not going to go into it here, um, but you might want to look up a configuration of this to see how it really resonates with you. See what you feel like you match with. If these nines and this one, you know, makes, makes a difference to you or if it hits you. Um, because we do have nines here. This tells me that you're finishing up with something. You're finishing up with something and you're starting something new here with Ace of Swords. And I think you're realizing that. So as you move forward, I mean, this is success. This is enjoyment. You have financial gain with the Nine of Pentacles. You have independence. You have personal choice, personal empowerment, enjoyment of your hard work, reaping the harvest, entering into a new experience of enjoyment of life. Then you have the Nine of Cups, enjoyment of life. Your prayer is coming true, wish is coming true. And you knowing that and feeling that and living in that 
So there could be something here that's really coming into fruition for you. It's something that's really happening. And you're feeling the, the, the experience of success in some way. You're, you're feeling how it feels to succeed and to meet a goal. How does it feel to hit a milestone? Because these three nines and this one, this is milestone magic. This is the mountain of milestone magic. Do you want me to keep going? Let's see how many M words we can come up with. Comments are turned on, so come up with some M M phrases if you like to do that, because this is this is the victory land. Nine of Wands. Offense, defense. What do you want to call it? Knowing who you are. You didn't quit. You stayed in the game. You followed this through. And sure, you have some bumps and scrapes, maybe some stitches, maybe a broken bone, maybe a broken heart. But you're there. And the Nine of Wands energy makes it feel all the sweeter, my friends, all the sweeter. Because you warriored your way to the finish line. Because here is the Ace of Swords. Victory. A belief. Epiphany. Triumph. Something is being made clear to you as you move forward. Now, does this mean you're going to hit the jackpot? That you're going to win the lottery? Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. These energies are going to be different for everyone. But what we have here is the energy of independence, personal choice, enjoying the fruits of your labor in one way or another. Nine of cups, happiness, mission complete, a wish has come true, a milestone has been reached, and nine of wands, you stuck with it, my friends. You stuck with it. And you did it. And that nine of wands is part of the story. It wouldn't be so sweet. It wouldn't be so triumphant without the nine of wands, without the injuries. Without the memory of the fight. Without the reminder of the fight, it wouldn't be the same. There's always some kind of balance. And it's always part of the story. Because that's what makes a good story. That's what makes it worth it. Let's dig deeper and see what we can see here in this victory lap that you're in. Now with these nines, we can see that there's still more work to do, that's okay. The journey continues. What I like about this Aries is in the next short period of time, you're going to be experiencing um, a, an energy of milestone magic. You're going to reach a sweet spot. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles, please. I'm telling you, the fool. Some kind of fight is over here. There's some sort of freedom that you have found for yourself. And this was could even have been a mental freedom. A way of thinking that kept you trapped or you kept you under someone's thumb or kept you controlled by a system 
or by another person or by a community thought pattern or by a dogma. Because the Five of Swords is about confusion. It's about the way we believe. It's about ha fighting something that really doesn't need to be fought, but there's ego there. There's a need to fight a, and, and to have a victory that doesn't always feel good. That you're, you wonder, why do I have to fight for this? Why can't this be something that's inherently mine? Why do I have to fight for my own belief system? Why do I have to fight for my own enjoyment in life? Why do I have to fight for my own way of speaking? Why do I have to fight for whatever? Why do I have to? I shouldn't have to. But you do sometimes. But that's over now. That's coming to an end. And there's a new beginning here with the full energy. There's a new beginning here. And I think it's independence. I think it's freedom. It's been coming forward now in this reading since the very beginning of this reading. The Nine of Pentacles can mean many different things. Let's look at them. Let's look deeper into the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups energy. Page of Wands. Eight of Cups. I'm going to pull these back so I don't get confused. Page of Wands, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. The World Energy. We had Strength coming out too, but I feel like it was a World Energy that was meant to come out. So with the Nine of Cups, we have <clears throat> um, new passion, new energy. Something here is, 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 is happening. Um, there is a story here. Um, you walked away from something in the past. You've walked away from something. You've left something. Whether that was a family situation, a, a, a relationship with someone, a job, a way of thinking, a way of working. Something has been left behind. Something that you put a lot of emotion into. Something that you put a lot of time and effort into because you really cared. So when we walk away from something with the Eight of Cups energy, it's a sad, it's a sad time and it pulls at us. That's probably why the Five of Swords was there. It caused confusion. Maybe you even felt some guilt or shame. Or maybe you felt selfish for doing it. The Eight of Cups can pull at our heart in so many different ways. It can confuse us in our mind. It can wrap up other people's thoughts and other people's belief systems and other people's needs into our own way of thinking. And those energies that wrap around in our mind can, can, can overlay or can filter through our own beliefs, our own way of thinking, our own decisions, so that all of a sudden we start thinking from the frame of mind of someone else. We start thinking and believing someone else's dream. Five of Swords mixed with the Eight of Cups. So whatever happened here with this Eight of Cups and changing that, it, it was probably difficult for you to do that. And it could have taken some time. But when we're in that situation with the Eight of Cups and we leave, it's the freedom. It's the peacefulness. It's the sanctuary. It's the enjoyment of life that sometimes is the Nine of Cups doesn't have to be anything great. It doesn't have to be an elaborate vacation. It doesn't have to be anything like that. It can be the peaceful serenity. A new kind of work, a new kind of job, living a new kind of life. And it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be rich. It can just be experiencing life in a different way. And for those of you who have been in such a deep place, where you've had to walk away with the Eight of Cups, you really could have forgotten 
how beautiful life can be. You really could have been wrapped up in something that depleted you. Because look, the world energy is here. So you stepped into a new reality. You stepped into a new life. So again, there's this energy of freedom, expansiveness, new horizons. Could it even be new reverence, new connection with your spiritual team, new connection with the universal energy or with a higher power and pulling that energy in through the crown chakra? and stepping forward in a new way, bathed in the white light from above. It could have been that profound for you, Aries. Sometimes it's the simple of things, simplest of things that can hit us so deeply. And, and, and we can realize in the simplicity of how beautiful our life is. Even though we haven't completely made it to the place we want to make it. Even though maybe the money isn't rolling in or falling off the trees. The freedom is there. And the happiness is there. Right? Then you have the Nine of Wands energy. Hermit, Six of Wands. And you have learned a lot. And you'll use this to teach in some way. The Hermit teaches. The Hermit learns. The Hermit applies his knowledge into his own life. And he walks forward. A changed person. without ego. So it tells me that there's been sort of um, an energy of humility here. What do I mean without ego? Knowing that you're not perfect. Knowing that you might have made mistakes, that you might have made the wrong choices. knowing that you're a student here and that you're learning as you go and knowing that you're just the same as every other man or woman living a human experience and going through trials and experiencing hardship just like the next person and that it's okay to do that it's okay that's part of it. For those that don't have an understanding of how to step forward and to look at, at life in a clinical way and look at what we've done well and look at how we can improve and look and see that we are the same as the next person. For those people that have a hard time with that, life can get hard. Harder than this person, this group of Aries is experiencing a cleansing, a renewal, a rebirth that has been realized. This is being able to look in the mirror and see who you truly are. The good and the bad. I hate that I said that. Let me rephrase. We can look in the mirror and see who we truly are, all of ourselves, our strengths and our weaknesses. Then we have the Six of Wands. Stepping forward, that's what the Hermit does. That's what the Hermit does when he learns 
He applies his knowledge and he steps forward. He does it in such a beautiful way. And this inspires. And the hermit can be scared. The hermit can be scared. He can be scared. He can be nervous. He's honest with himself too, the hermit is. He's pretty honest with himself. But see, his candle is always lit. That's what I mean. Understanding the ego. Understanding that we can have our candle lit. Even though we understand we're the same as the next person. That we're going through situations just like the rest of the people. That we can still have our candle lit for the next person as teachers. Because there's always someone that will be pulled to our light. What a beautiful way to be, Aries. What a beautiful and compassionate way to be. And the hermit is stooped too. Clothes are ragged. It's probably cold. It looks like it's snowing. Bare hands. Maybe his bones hurt, his joints ache. He might be, you know, unbathed. He's up in the mountains, right? So he, it's, it's not been an easy journey. But this is enlightenment. This is wisdom. And moving forward in a new way, passionately. What happens when you mix the hermit energy with Aries energy? What happens when you do that? Leadership, empowerment, courage. And then you have this Ace of Swords. Let's look at this Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. It's here. The victory is here. What is your Ace of Pentacles? What is your improvement in your reality? Is it more money? Are you able to turn the heat on? Do you have enough money that you can turn the heat on? I was there before. I couldn't turn my heat on because I didn't have enough money. Just like the rest. We've all been through situations. But if we keep moving, there's victory. If we keep working, if we have our belief system, there's improvement and there's victory. So what is your Ace of Pentacles? Is it a new job? Is it a new house? Is it a bonus? Is it a new relationship where you merge households? There's something here because it's here. Ace of Swords is here. Boom, it's here. What is it? Let's dig into the Ace of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. You're seeing signs of it. You're seeing signs of it here in the next immediate future. You're seeing signs of it. See, the Ace of Swords is what's here. This is realizing it, having the epiphany of it, seeing the victory of it. Clarifying it is Ace of, Pen Ace of Pentacles coming in by way of Page of Pentacles. So you're seeing indications of it. You're seeing, see, she has a, a bag of money here that she's counting. So there's some sort of improvement that's starting here and you're realizing it and 
you're realizing it. There is still pain because with the Three of Swords flipped over as well. There's still some pain. It might take a little while for that pain to all go away, that sadness to all go away. It's a sweet, bittersweet kind of energy. Page of Cups, new inspiration. Page of Pentacles, seeing indications in your reality. Page of Cups, new love, new inspiration. Feeling that vitality within you again. The health of the heart center. Again, the heart starts beating again. Feeling refreshed about your world. Feeling love in your world again. Feeling love for other people. Feeling love for yourself. Feeling love for your world. All right, Aries, I am going to move into the extended. We'll look at the people who are around you and we'll take this out farther into the future, maybe a month or two months into the future. All right. Thank you all very much for being here. It's always a pleasure to be in your energy, Aries. Thank you.